Today I'm going to teach you how to use Trady. I know I've done a video like this in the past, but people still had a lot of questions about Trady. So I thought it would be best to show you how to use everything on Trady. The very first thing you need to do to use Trady is sign up. When you first go onto Trady, it will take you to the games page. When you're here, press Royal High and it will take you to the Royal High front page. To sign up, press the pink sign up button and then you will be brought to this. Now you have to create an account. You can make it simple and use Discord, Twitter, Apple, or Google to sign up or you can create an account. If you want to create an account, First, you have to choose a username. Once you picked one out, you then have to create a password. Then in the box below that, you have to re-enter your password. So just copy the password you put in the previous box. Then in the next box, you have to put your birthday. Below that, you have to put in your Roblox username. After you put in your username, put in your email. If you don't want to receive marketing email, just click that off, then verify that you're not a robot. Once you created your account, now you have to verify it. Go to your email and verify your account. Now you have your account verified, you are ready. The very first thing that is best to do is go to your account by pressing the person icon at the top right of your screen. This brings you to your profile. I would edit your bio and put whatever you would like people to know. Some people put their status and how long it takes them to respond. Once you created a bio, you then want to replace your Roblox username. Click the very first Roblox logo where your username is and replace it with ask and chat or ask please. This keeps your account protected from scammers and hackers. Trady is full of scammers, so do be careful. The thing you can do to protect your account is to replace your username, but also never open links people send you or tell you to click on. If someone tells you to open a link or tells you to open up their Roblox link, do be suspicious. True traders will just give you a username and not a link. If they don't send you your username, do not trade with them, decline the trade, and move on. Now that you know about scammers on Trady, let's get into the basics. When you open the Royal High front page, it looks something like this. At the top, there's today's hot items. These items are what most people are looking for that day. Below today's hot items, there are our latest listings. These listings were just posted. Below that, there is a For You section. If you just made your account, you won't have anything here because this is based off of what you traded for last. At the top of the page, there are these tabs. All these tabs are all the categories of all the things in the game. There's accessories, halos, sets, shoes, skirts, and wings. You can use these tabs to look at all the things on Royal High. If you're just looking for one specific item, there is a search bar above these tabs. Here you can search for all the items in the game. If you click on the pink items button, to the left next to the search bar, there is a drop down menu. You can change the categories to users or discord. If you're looking for a specific person or discord, you can search for them by changing the category. Next to the search bar, there is another pink button. Then there is the person icon. This is how to get to your account. When you open your account, you can personalize your account by changing the profile picture. Press the big circle with the person inside. This will bring you to a bunch of pictures you can change your profile to, or you can add your own picture. But to do this, you do have to have a pro account. Once you've changed your profile picture, you can add your Twitter or Discord to these boxes here if you'd like to, but if you don't, that's totally fine. Under your bio, there is these tabs. There's the listings, offers, wishlist, catalog, and review. We will go over how to add things to these tabs later. The listings tab shows you all the listings you added, or if you're on someone else's profile, you can see all the things that they've listed. In the offers tab, you can see all the things people have offered for your listing. In the wishlist tab, you can add wishlists of all the items that you want or looking for. To create a wishlist, press the pink create a wishlist button. Then type in a name in the name bar. Then press the pink create button to create a wishlist. In the catalog tab, you can catalog all the things you have. To be honest, not a lot of people look at that, so it's not a huge deal if you don't want to take the time. Then in the very last tab, there are your reviews. This is where everyone who's traded with you will review you after you are done. Now let's get into how to actually look for items. First, type in what you're looking for in the search bar, or you can use the tabs to look for an item. Once you've found your item, click on the picture and it will bring you to this. There are more tabs here. The sellings tab, looking for a tab, recent trades, and set items. At the top of those tabs, there are buttons. You have the add listings button, save catalog, and add to wishlist. If you want to catalog or add an item to your wishlist, this is where you will do it. To catalog it, you just press the catalog button, but to add an item to the wishlist, you pull down the wishlist 
and then click on whatever wish list you want to add this item to. Now it's time to go over what all the tabs are. The sellings tab will show you who is selling these items. This is where you will offer for other people's things. There is a looking for tab. If you're looking for an item and are only trading specific things for it, this is where you add a looking for listing. I'll teach you how to do that soon. The recent trades tab is where you see all the recent trades that people accepted. Then the set items tab will show you the whole set, if that item is in a set. Now let's add a listing. If you're trading these shoes and want other people to offer for them, you will add a listing by clicking on one of the three add listings button. All these buttons will bring you to a page similar to this. If you use a different button, yours might look something like this. First, add what you're trading. If you use the listing buttons in an item menu, you will not need to do this. Then you can put the amount of the item you have. If you're only trading one, don't change anything here. Then you have to choose your pricing. If you want other people just to offer for this item, check the ask for offers button. Or if you want something specific, check the accept only listing price. Under that, you will put in the amount of diamonds you want if you want any. If you prefer items, you can put in the items you're looking for. In the items to trade box, if you want to add another item once you've clicked on your first item and your box looks something like this, you can continue to type and add items. If you want to add a looking for listing, just click the look for a button. Once you made your listing, all you have to do is wait. People will eventually offer for your item. If you can hear a bell sound, you can look at the notifications menu to see if anyone is offered. If someone has, you can click on the notification and it'll bring you to the listings to see all the offers or you can go back to your profile and look at the offers tab to see all the offers. Before you accept an offer, make sure to look at their profile. You can go to the profile by clicking their username and it will bring you to their profile. You can hover over their stars to see their average and if it's five stars, you are safe. If it's under 5 stars, look for the review that is less than 5 stars. Sometimes it's just people being mean or sometimes they can scam. It's super important that you check the reviews. If they don't have any reviews, you can continue with the trade, just be careful. If you like an offer, you can accept by pressing the accept offers button. If you want to decline their offer, press the decline and if you want to add a reason, you can. If you don't want to put a reason, you can just hit submit and it will still decline their offer. After you accept that offer, press the message button and send them a message. If they send you a link, do not press the link. Decline the trade and move on. If you're going to do the trade with a person, all I send is a high and wait for them to get back to me. If they say hi back, but don't tell your user, you can simply ask for it. But make sure to be nice about it. This person will leave a review on your page. Once they give you your username, you can add them on Roblox. When they accept, go into the trading hub and wait for them. Once you're done with the trade, go back to the messages and click on the complete trade button. Then click complete and review. It'll take you to their profile where you can add a review to their page. If they were nice, give them a good review. They will most likely review you as well. Now if you're trying to offer for an item, go ahead and search that item in the search bar. Once you get into the items menu, you then click on someone else's listing and it'll bring you to their listings page. Now if you see free listings or really underpriced listings, do be careful. Some of these listings are fake and most likely will want you to go to another site to find their link or will just send you a link. Do not trade with these listings. If you're going to, just be aware they'll most likely want you to do extra steps. If they don't give you their username, outright decline the trade. In the listings page, you can see their bio. I 100% recommend reading the bio. This is important and can keep you safe while trading. If it mentions any other steps to complete the trade, then do not trade with them, even if it's a good price. You can also look at their stars and their reviews by clicking on their username. It will bring you to their profile and you can hover over their stars to see their average. If it's under 5 stars, look at the reviews they have and try to find the one that gave them under 5 stars. If it's just a mean review, then you're probably fine to continue to offer. Once you check their bio and the reviews, go ahead and make an offer. Press the make an offer button and it will bring up this menu. You can add the amount of diamonds you want to offer. But if you're offering items, then click on the items to trade box. Here you can type in the item and click on the right item in the drop down menu. If you want to add another item, once you click on your first item and your item box looks something like this, you can continue to type and add item. Once you've added everything you are offering, click submit offer. If you typed in something wrong and need to cancel your offer, just click cancel, then it will bring up this. You can add a reason, like offer sent an error, or you can just click submit and it will still cancel the trade. 
Once you've made your offer, give the seller to look at your offer. If it takes them longer than five minutes to respond, I would start offering on other people's listings. If you want to look at all the offers you sent, click on the shopping basket. You can see your open offers, accepted offers, and your history. Once someone has accepted your offer, they will send you a message. Usually it's just a hi or asking for a username. If they give you a link or any extra steps to find their account, do not trade with them. If they ask for a user, feel free to give it to them. Ask for their user too so you can add them back. Once you add them, meet them in the trading hub and do the trade. Once you're done with the trade, go back to the message and complete the trade by pressing the complete trade button, then click complete and review, and it'll bring you to their profile. Once you're there, go ahead and give them a review. Remember, they're most likely going to give you a review, so be nice. If you don't want bad reviews, the best thing you can do to prevent that is by being nice and being quick. That pretty much covers everything. Remember that there is scammers on tradies, so keep your account safe. The best thing you can do to keep your account safe by also turning on two-step verification on your Roblox account. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!